My brother. All right. So here we go. Pull on the clutch off. There we go. It's Broke it loose with an impact. Not too bad. The whole clutch comes right off like this. As in the pulley. You just, I mean, I'm not sure you need it, but I got a pulley. Try it without uh, ones, Pulley right? right here. Try it without ones. Try it without ones. Actually, right there. You don't even need a puller on it. There we go. Now we just pull that right off. You missed it. So this is the back of the Grasshopper 225. We just pulled the clutch off and the um, drive pulley, which of course runs the uh, two hydraulic pumps. All right, we're gonna be pulling the seal off here in just one second. Now I'm just trying a couple different angled um, screwdrivers that have a sharp tip on them. Try to break this seal loose. Caramba! There we go. Boom. And that's how the old seal comes out. All right, here's the old seal. Of course, it was damaged, so I really didn't mind mucking it up a little bit as I pulled it off, you know, marring it up, breaking it. Now, if you look in here, if you look down at the bottom here, there's a, a drain. Basically, this, this seal just keeps the oil from splashing out. The oil will come out that around the crankshaft there and spray against here, and that seal will just keep it from spraying out of the motor, getting all over everything, and it'll drain out down that through that hole. Now, this is the 25 horse Kohler on the Grasshopper 225. Part number for the main seal, 25032. 06-S, which you can see here right here in the video. So here is the new se the new seal. You can see my the youngest member of my family right there, my son. The master mechanic. The master mechanic, soon to be master mechanic. Little Taking me. everything in. You got you can see I've got a bunch of stuff around my shop here. Working on some stuff. My boys got some stuff in here. But this is just a uh, a uh, ring for a, a gas can spout. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut those two tabs off. It just so happened that it's perfect size to help me get this seal in. I really didn't plan to do this right now. I probably would have measured it and bought a pipe or something like that to help me get it in there perfectly. But this will work just fine. Or a socket if you got a socket that big, but I I, I don't. So. Okay, buddy. Hold it on that gas. Okay. There we go. And he's watching me do this, so. All right. So what I did is I put just a little extra grease on there. When this gre when this seal came to me, it, it had a little grease on the inside ID of it, but uh, I put a little bit extra. That's about all I've done so far and cleaned up where it's gonna see. Bless you. We'll get it started. There we go. I think I got it started. Let me get this one side just a little bit more before I get this on. I got that. Pretty well, actually, I think. Just a hammer now. They say about flush with the crank, the crankcase. I'm in a little bit there, probably eighth inch. I think that's gonna be fine. I just wanna make sure all the sides are equal though. Now I gotta put this side in a little bit. 
That looks good, George. I really wish that I, I really wish that I would have stopped a little sooner, but it is what it is. I got her in there right there. Now, this old seal, I think it was in there pretty deep also, so. I mean, just the rule of thumb, like I said, flush with a crankcase. I'm gonna start this mower up, see if I'm spitting out oil. I think we're good right there. All right, so I'm just putting the pulley back on, the main um, <clears throat> drive pulley, I guess this would be called. I'm not even sure you needed that, that puller to get this off, but I didn't really know, so I, I don't really have a lot of time, right, spare time right now, so where's I just... Your, where's your key at? I got the key lined up, as you can see, as if there was a key right there. But, Check, make sure that key's not moving on me. No, it's not. We're good to go. You're one lucky sucker, you know it. <laughs> it looks like this gas cap's working all right. I wish it was a little bit longer. I think we got our bottom now. All right, it's close enough. Yep. We're good. Alright, now if you look back here. Tap it with your hammer one time, make sure it's seated. Yep, we're good. We're good. If you look back here, I got that clutch that we pulled off earlier. I try to line this up, but you know what? It's going to be kind of difficult. But I'll know if you look in there, if it only goes a half inch, that I don't have, the, I don't have that keyway lined up. And about a quarter inch. Right there we go. Right there, I knew that it went on the keyway because I had it in about a quarter, maybe three eighths of an inch. Now I was turning it, I finally got it in a little bit more. So I know that I'm on the keyway, I'm all the way bottomed out. This is how it's supposed to go. And then of course, the assembly. You saw me put the clutch on. Let me just use my impact. Okay, now we're gonna uh, reapply the bracket that holds the clutch in place. You sure you don't have to which put your belt on first? Which the opposite, the, um, removing it of course would be the opposite of what we're doing. Here. To my right, to your to your right. This is good. All you do is you slip it back there and get these bolts lined up. Now I had to use both hands to get this both these um, bolts started, but we're back at it. I'm gonna torque them down real quick. Now that we got these bolts on there, I'll just check them by hand. Here's your clutch. Run the belts back on. Put the dry belt on. Tensioner pull it. Get that at least set. Get the belt on before you, of course, plug the clutch in. We'll plug the clutch in. There we go. Now all we gotta do is get this belt on that tensioner. We'll be good. And get this hooked up on that tensioner, which we can do that right now, I guess. 
I may be able to do that with one hand. Nope, I'm going to need to use two hands here. I guess I'll try it one more time for you guys with one hand. There we go. So the main drive belt's on. So all we need is a um, deck belt. This is the last belt that I need to put on, which is kind of a pain to do by yourself. But I'm gonna try to do it by myself here. You got it? So in order to get it, you gotta lift this pulley up and get it lined up with a crowbar. Slowly come up here without hurting yourself. Like I said, definitely not easy to do by yourself. Luckily, I think this belt was stretched a little bit, so not as bad as if you had a brand new belt. There we go. And it should be riding level on both the pulleys. The front pulley, of course, you would have checked before you put it on, which it is. I checked all that. Now let's put the cover on.